Sanjay, thank you very much for being here today. It's a pleasure. Uh, we know that Adani has made major investments in infrastructure, including data centers to support India's growth uh, digital economy. With these ambitious plans for data center infrastructure in India, can you share some of the insights you have into the long-term vision for the sector here in India? Pleasure to be part of such an excellent conversation which we are having. Of course, uh, Adani Connex have made a made a huge commitment to a data center and Adani as a large group have made significant progress in infrastructure side in the last couple of years. And data center makes a real sense for us to be part of this journey. And India as overall as a country has made a significant commitment to make sure digital infrastructure should grow. And that is going to help us overall GDP of country to grow up at large. So India has got a massive uh, runway to cover. Of course, our cloud adoption is going at a much faster pace, APAC, EMEA, or Western countries. That's a good industry to be in. Of course, this starts with the safety, then quality of construction, and then efficient operations. So all these three areas are very unique in nature, and Adani brings in a capability which how to build safe infrastructure, speed and quality is equally important, which Adani has got a has done massive projects. The other side is design, build, and operate, which our partner Edge Connects have done multiple times on time and uh, within budget. So that complementary skills by both the shareholder is very important that helps us to build confidence in an India story with our customers. So when we started this business almost about three and a half, four years back, the India data center industry itself was 500, 600. That has grown to 1,000 megawatt. When we started this business, we thought we'll take a pledge and our business commitment is to bring 1,000 megawatt under Adani Connects umbrella in the next five to seven years. Wow. And we are seeing a huge progress, huge success. And the basic ingredient of our business is to make sure energy remains at the core of our, uh, of our business, which is very important for data center. And today, data center consumes almost 2% of uh, energy worldwide. And the growth rate predicted is it will go to about 8 odd percent. And the new technologies are coming up. So this, this will help us to be better efficient in data center side. But at the same time, that's a fun journey we have, we have had so far. Perfect. Uh, you touched on a very important point, which is uh, renewable energy, green energy. And I know that uh, this is a topic that's very dear to your group. You care about that. How are you uh, going about growing these projects and integrating the vision and the concern about uh, a sustainable energy into such a strong pace of growth? Absolutely. Edge Connects and Adani Connects, all three of us look at sustainability as holistically. Of course, energy is very key to our data center. When, when we people talk about how do we build infrastructure for a data center which is, which is sustainable, from a long-term sustainable infrastructure, what we build, how do we make sure we give commitment to a customer, which is indemnity for infrastructure for life of a project. At the same time, the green energy is absolutely critical for data center. And while green energy is important, Adani has got a huge portfolio in India and many states, which helps us to commit certain percentage of green energy to our customer. We have got a very unique model available, which is helping us to give a better solution to our customer. Not only that, we have expanded this journey from energy to a water. Water is also one of the critical elements which actually data center can use. We are making sure the community is connected on this water subject and we are helping community to come over. The challenge is what they have at a local a local level. So this is the second aspect. While, while we are doing data center, the ecosystem itself needs a commitment from a sustainability point of view. How do we make sure value chain is sustainable and which is making sure we consume less carbon and less carbon and less carbon. At the same time, if you look at worldwide, the efficiency of a efficiency comes in a data center from power utilization efficiency. How do we make sure we become efficient in PUE? So a lot of adoption of artificial intelligence happening on operation side, which helps us to be better. And uh, we are creating certain benchmarks like safety is one part of it, which helps us to be make sure all the alarms, all the system are, are perfect. Of course, safety is a journey. All of us have to travel. At the same time, while, while we talk about the speed and the quality, 
how do we make sure our partners are adopting to all sustainable material what they use in data center? That we are keeping an eye and making sure all the investment made by us. And while infrastructure is growing, India is growing at a much faster pace. But how do we get the scale right so that partnerships happening? It's not I'm buying or selling some something to a customer or to a partner. We are making a strategic partnership with our with our vendors to make sure they are having a large setup available to cater to a scale what India is looking at. So such kind of many partnership we have we have begun, and art, with the artificial intelligence coming in, we are building a future ready data center which can cater to a cooling which is air cool today and liquid cool cool tomorrow. So all hybrid solutions are getting built so that. India is getting benefited. It's not about me and mm -hmm. competition. It's how to make sure India is successful and we are helping to solve the problems which other countries have, like sustainability, energy is a problem. From a day one, Adani Connex have taken only one solution to our customer, energy as a service, so which is help, which is being liked by them. And of course, energy, I'm sure you'll agree that energy efficiency is important. Getting energy security is very important. So we are working holistically to make sure we are sustainable and uh, all of us get. Just a final question. Recently, we had a meeting in Switzerland where we brought together the major investors from the US and Europe that are active uh, in real estate. Okay. And we had discussions on logistics, residential, commercial real estate, etc. The room that was absolutely full was the data center room. So everybody's looking to data center. India is one of the stars in the global map. A lot of capital from abroad being deployed here, but also domestic capital being invested. When I look at that from an European perspective, I'm sitting in London looking at the whole world, everything's happening in South America as well. I ask you something. What could go wrong? Is there anything that you imagine that maybe we should be careful about this specific aspect or you think it's so, so much demand, it's so, it's such a low hanging fruit that nothing could go wrong. In, in short, what would you say? So it's only one thing which can go wrong if we don't plan well. I think clearly master planning is a key for data center. When I say master planning has got a couple of ingredients. The first, the biggest ingredient is energy security. Mm. If you look at it worldwide, many countries are not able to grow and progress in their digital journey because energy scarcity has come. Because the kind of consumption is the growth what we are seeing vis-a-vis -vis what kind of infrastructure the country is making that has to go hand in hand. So clearly one particular line item I see energy security, energy efficiency and the master planning on both the subject. How do we, like look at it, Dani, vertical integration, energy as a whole is done from last couple of years. Mm. Couple of, they are two decades has gone by. So we are, we are securing future from an energy security perspective. I think that, that is something everyone has to plan well from organization perspective, state perspective, federal and the country. So that is something which in my view is the most critical and master planning is the one which, which will help them to overcome this challenge. Sanjay, thank you very much. Pleasure speaking to you. Pleasure. Which has happened many couple of